Okay, number 55. Of how many positive integers k uh, does the decimal representation of k factorial has and exactly 99 zeros? Okay, uh, so to solve this, we need to understand a fact. Basically, we need to ask, uh, answer uh, how many zeros. in k factorial so for example 1 factorial is 1, 2 factorial is 2, 3 factorial is 6, 4 factorial 24, 5 factorial 100 so you say there is a 1 0 here so basically you 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 know you, you already know that the, the number of zeros depends on uh, Suppose you have a number x, number of zero of x, depend on when you did the uh, uh, the prime factorization of x. Uh, one, uh, two times five is ten. So basically, the minimum number of r one and r three are the number of zeros. Okay, so in 5 factorial, we have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. We have only 1 5. So the answer is we, so we have 1 zeros. So this is the important fact. We need to use this fact to find how many in the k factorial. Okay. So now come, uh, we go to the important part. So we need to answer how many uh, zeros in k factorial. So this is k minus k k times k minus 1 minus k minus 2 da, 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 to 1. And uh, we only uh, since uh, we, we know that we need to find the uh, minimum of r1 r3 so one is the uh, the power of r1 uh, the, the 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 power in r in a two and one is the power uh, uh belongs to five so basically but when 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 i use one times two k it's obvious that the r1 will larger than r3 because uh, each integer only console for the consecutive integers, only five of them will, will, will come up with a five, but only two of them, uh, uh, but each two of them will contains one factor of two. So you can, so it's very easy to see that the, the R one will much larger than R three in the k factorial case. So this is we only ask about how many five. In this inti uh, factorization or the prime uh, prime factorization. So the the easy so the first term is basically we just use k divided by five and then we take the cell function. This is obvious that for if k is multiple of five, then it will definitely contribute one five. So and uh, uh, but in our case, if we have twenty five factorial, then twenty five will will contribute one. Will contribute two of them. And uh, the one hundred fifty, uh, and this is five cube. So this is the formula we derived. Okay. So for example. Uh, how many zeros in 100 factorial? Uh, so this is a common interview problem. So if you use a formula, you have 24 zeros. Okay. Uh, this is common interview problem. So I just ask her to to tell uh, just uh, application of this formula. So now we go back to the subject GRE. 
how many positive integer k uh the integer k factor is exactly 999 uh, zeros so you see the first term if k goes to k plus 5 then there will be one more zeros this is obvious right so that means k k plus 1 k plus 2 k plus 3 k plus 4 has exactly the same number of zeros so no matter what k is it is it, it always contains this five consecutive numbers has only has 99 uh, 99 zeros I mean this and this f answer is fixed even though somebody asks you about how many concept uh, how many integers contain exactly 1000 zeros the answer is still 5 because when when k goes to k plus 1 then th this term is fixed this term is still the same this term is still the same still the same so only when k go to k plus 5 then you will have one more consecutive zero uh, one more zeros so the answer is five. Uh, this problem is tricky, so I spend more time to explain it. The the answer is D. Uh, 